So far, I've gone into Shopify and into Apps, gone to visit the App Store, chosen Yopo, and chosen to install it. So we're going to install product, Yopo product reviews. This is taking a second. Okay, and store name. This is where we're going to make sure we want to come back and overwrite this with the correct name of the website. So that's where you'll put in Blue Healer. And scroll down. That's all right. You can come back and change this if you need to. Then at this point, you're going to get install up here. And it will take you through how to add the code to the Shopify site. Now just be, it'll tell you where to go into Shopify, how to edit the code. I think that's actually out of date, but it's in roughly the right place. You'll see it. Um, into the theme. This is the code that you add to the theme. Copy it and paste it. Remember to comment it so it's obvious it's from Yotpo. Save. Add your product code. This is what shows up the individual product reviews on the product page. There's the code. Make sure you test it and make sure it's still responsive. Okay. Now. You can also add Yopo Premium for more, but we don't need that for what we're doing. And then, okay, now we can customize. If for any reason you don't see the Let's Customize button, um, you can still come back to these things here. Now, tools. Email after purchase, just check this is saying the right thing. Um, you might want to overwrite the store name just to make sure you get exactly the name you're expecting. And you can customize the thing and save changes, customize the email. Then the other thing you can do is on site reviews widget. No, sorry. Uh, yes. This is the tab that will show up on the site that people can then click to. I'd at least set it to immediate use while you're testing it. Set the date to whatever the local date format should be. And then change the look and feel up here to match the color screen scheme of the site. So this is actually fairly close to Blue Healer, but you'd overwrite it with the correct settings. Um, maybe change this to whatever the accent color is of the site. Uh, you have limited choice of font, so match that as closely as possible to the site. You press choose your colors and then save changes. And what you'll then find once you've actually added the code to the site is that there will be a tab that shows up on the website. You also want to make sure that you um, just check all those. And that's yeah, what that's what the pop-up widget will look like at the moment. Uh, and you can also check the responsiveness there. I think advanced customization is only available with the upgrade, yeah. And just check the look and feel, the general settings again. Uh, dates correct. Yeah, and that's all good. Okay. Uh, now there's a few other things you can do. But that's a good start. So go through and get those done, and then you'll be very close to having your installed on your website.